Ugh. Ooh. That sounded disgusting. <laughs> now I have slime. What am I gonna do with slime? What's he doing there? I'm only looking. Good. Because this is my favorite stone. Oh, I know, because you conveniently teleport to it every single time I talk to you. Despite the fact that you can blatantly see the slime, apparently he's going to slip on it. It's a slippery red rock. He saw what I just did. I just... I just took slime from here. I walked over to his favorite rock and then left a bunch of slime on it. But he's still going to teleport to it? Um, okay. Horrible, slippery slobber. Here we go. Enough of this. Tell us where the fairy scholar is or I'll throw you in the lake. Try it! Try it! <laughs> <laughs> Serves you right, you little shit. Nasty little! Why, that was quite a splash. <laughs> You've ruined my pipe weed. It's all wet. Wet, wet, wet! And you're bald, too. <laughs> what? A bald head? Where is my hat? My hat? Well, imp... You look very different from how you looked before. Very interesting face, actually. I like the creature design. Alright. <sighs> Will you finally tell me where the Fairy Scholar is? I caught you, so you'd better take us to the Fairy Scholar now. Pff, am I supposed to wander the world without a hat on my head? I want a new one. Where am I supposed to get a new hat? A new weed for the pipe. I'm demanding that too. Hmm. We'll have at least one of those things. Do I have a hat? Uh, can I make him a hat out of a fodder bag? I don't know. Uh, take the pipe weed for now. Do you want this pipe weed? Yes, yes. I'm not choosy in that respect. The most important thing is that it stings in the throat. <laughs> Enjoy. It, it sounds lovely. Alright, can I, like, cut this thing? Or something? Or can I just give it to him, straight up? Here's a new hat for you. It's not gaudy enough. No decoration. No pendant on it. I could say get things yourself, which is what I really want to tell him, but I have an idea, so hold on. I'll go and look for those things. <laughs> it just so happens I have jewelry. Looks like the ceremonial baggy cap of the Royal Huntsman. <laughs> there you go. Looks like a piece of shit. A decorated fodder bag. Enjoy. It kind of smells like, um, like, what was that? Was that a donkey? I don't know. It smells like whatever that was. Here's a hat for you, decorated and all. No, it was this a pony. It was a pony. <laughs> hmm, but it has some nice thingamajiggies on the rim. <laughs> Even better looking than the old one. There, now you have what you wanted. Just one more thing. Mm -hmm. No, by all twelve, not one thing more. <laughs> you don't have a sense of humor, <laughs> do you? <laughs> <laughs> well then, listen carefully. Seventy paces towards where the thistles have no heads. Twenty-one paces towards where the sunbeams are bent in a circle. Nine paces towards where the mushrooms have wings. There you'll find my friend in a hidden cave. As long as he's not down in the maze near his fairy artifact, that is. That's easy. Come on, Geron. What? Okay. I guess Nuri led us there. That was easy. But there's nobody here. Damn, that imp duped us. Wait. Didn't he say the fairy scholar is examining an artifact deep down in the mountain? That's right. So we'll have to go looking for him there. But without a map of the cave system, we'll never be able to find him. Man, look at this place. It's beautiful. Ooh, fireplace. I don't know if it's cold, but can we start a fire? I've been itching to use this flintstone and tinder. Or fl flin Flintstone. I've been using. I've been itching to use this Flintstone. Let me try that again. Flintstone. 
flint stone. Jesus Christ. That doesn't burn anymore. It's all charred and burned. Well, damn. Never mind. Did I seriously say flintstone? I wonder if I said flintstone in the past. That would be embarrassing. If I said it and didn't even realize it. Can you make out anything over there? No. You? No. You'll have to find out. This must have been used to illuminate the little grotto. Hmm. Can I light that? Even if I get the wick out of there, this candle won't burn anymore. Ah, everything's all burnt up. That's one of those butterflies from the lake shore. Summerlings. Or summerlings. What's he doing in a display case? Display case? I think that's a lantern, isn't it? We have to free the summerling. I can't reach it. It looks kind of like a lantern. I mean, they're supposed to glow, right? Maybe you can stick a flower in there and use them as a lantern? I don't know. Hmm. Look at all of these specimens. All these creatures in jars. Ooh, that one's got a big spider. A really big spider. What's in there? Open it. What is this? There's something written on this one that I can't decipher. Obscure symbols, scrawls. I can't make heads or tails of this. But for some reason I picked up this one and only this one in particular. I don't know why, but I just felt an urge to pick it up. What's that supposed to be? It shows statues with swords. Perhaps a piece of art. What's that supposed to depict? Turn it around. There's nothing on the back. No, I meant the other way. What other way? Oh, uh, you have no sense for art at all. What's that supposed to be? It shows Stapa. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, what is this? Well, I can already pretty much guarantee you I'm gonna get stuck on whatever this is. <laughs> one times four, and then four times one. And then there's a picture of... a mining cart. Six times three, two times four, spiders. Four times one, two times four. What is that? I don't know what that is. Five times one, three times six. What does this mean? Those are like jewels, I think. Crystals. I don't know what that is. Hold on, look at it again. Is there anything else on there? No. No time for such things. I right, can't use it on the map. Or maybe it's not a map. Can't use it on the drawing. Whatever that is. Whatever the drawing depicts. <laughs> Come on, let's just go. No, we'll get lost without directions. There's really nothing else in this chest I can use. Obscure, I can't make. Obscure, I can't. Hmm. Obscure, I can't. I really want to get that jar down. I don't think I can reach. Oh, wait a minute. I, I just. Uh, explode it, right? Yeah. You must free him. There you go, little Do guy. Do you always have to break things? You wanted me to set it free. But not like that. Things shouldn't be broken. It's just a jar. Yes, just a jar. But at some point, everything will fall apart. And everything will be dark and grey. It does seem oddly appropriate, doesn't it, that my ability is to destroy things and her ability is to put things back together? Sort of a commentary on the overarching theme of his life, isn't it? He's always breaking stuff. Ooh, is it going to follow me? Oh, no it's not. Oh, I thought you were my little friend. Fine. Come. No, we'll get lo- Hmm. 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, put it down there, and then the butterfly will come to it, and it'll glow. Why, that's not a vase. Come on, come on, come on. There, oh, oh look. whoa. Look at that. Oh, boy. Whoa. Dripstone. What the heck am I supposed to do with this? Dripstone, I guess, is another term for a stalactite. What for? That doesn't help very much. Not likely. Oh, I think it is. I don't even know what he's doing. What is he doing with it? That doesn't help very much. Is he yanking on them as if they're udders? It doesn't work that way. Whoa. Wait, what? What? The hell? So I can move this one to there. I think when you let two threads intersect, their shadow points to a place on the map. Hmm. So two threads at a time. Okay. It isn't going to work this way. So... Only two threads, but which ones? Damn, I just don't know what to look for. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Obviously, it's got to be related to the drawing and or the stone tablet in some way, right? Hmm. Right, can I even get them to intersect? Because it doesn't seem like they want to. Hold on, let me get this This one. doesn't yield... Let me, let me cross these. Okay. That really doesn't lead anywhere, though. Right. Let's take a look at this again. Oh, that's not a times, is it? That's a cross. I think. Okay, hold on. I think I might get this. I think this is saying to go to here, wherever this is, you have to cross number one to four and four to one. Hold on. Let me look at this again. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six. Let me guess. This goes up to six. Yep, the highest number is six. Okay. One to four and four to... Uh, one to four and four to one. Cross those to get here, wherever this is, like a mining camp. One to four, four to one. Only two, three. Damn, I Hold on. So, one to four. And four to one. According to the stone tablet, there's a copper mine there. Yeah! I don't think the explorer will be there. Okay, now I understand it. Excellent. I'm actually proud of myself for that one. It wasn't too hard, but I actually got it. Cool. So, where do I want to go? Just try them all? I don't know. Why does he think the explorer won't be there, though? What did he say? Someone said something like where he would be, but where was it? I don't remember. Where was he supposed to be? Uh, let's just try them all. Six to three, two to four. Six to three, two to four. Six to three, and two to four. You need to get that right, right? Six to three and two to four. Okay, nothing happened. Four to one, two to four. Four to one. Two to four. That didn't work either. Okay, I guess that's the last one. Five to one, three to six. Five to one, three to six. Five to one... Three to six. Okay, am I... Am I messing this up? That's taking too much time. Come on, let's ask the imp. Wait! Oh no! What's wrong? There are orcs down at the lake. Damn! They must have followed our tracks. We should hurry up. Oh, 
Okay, am I suddenly messing this up somehow or Come what? Come on, let's just go. No, we'll get. Hold on, does my journal say anything about where we're supposed to be going? No, it just says the fairy scholar must be here somewhere. Hmm. Okay, how did I mess this up? I thought I understood it. One to four and four to one. That's what I started with. One to four. And four to one. According to the stone yeah. tablet, there's a copper mine there. I don't think the explorer will be there. Okay, so I'm doing that right. One to four. And four to one. So how come the others aren't working? One to four. And four to one. Six to three. And two to four. Six to three. Two to four. Six to three. And two to four. Six. To three. And two to four. How, how am I getting that wrong? Two to four. Six to three and two to four. Six to three and two to four. Why is this not working? I thought I had it. Why on earth should I do that? I don't get it. Let's start from the... No, that wouldn't work. What am I thinking? Maybe maybe it's this one top to bottom? I don't know. Six to three. Six to three and two to four. According to this stone tower, okay. there's an emerald spider nest there. I don't think the explorer will be there. Alright, so... How did I... M I don't know. Whatever. I don't, I'm not sure whether you're supposed to start with the top or the bottom or whether it varies, but let's just roll with it. 4 to 1, 2 to 4. Let's try both. 4 to 1, 2 to 4. I already know doing the bottom doesn't work, so 4 to 1, 2 to 4. 4 to 1. Nope. Put it, put it down. Put it down. 4 to 1. And 2 to 4. If the numbers on the stone tablets are right, the fairy artifact must be there. I think I know where the explorer is now. Uh, apparently that's what that symbol meant. That's the fairy artifact? Okay, just looked like a bunch of random scribblings to me. But let's roll with it. Well, to get to the fairy artifact, we have to go right first. Then straight on. Then left once. No, twice left. Then three times straight ahead. Can you remember that? Left, right, left, right, straight on. Hmm. I think we better copy the directions down. Yes. That would be wise. Only charcoal and ashes left. Exactly. You can write with that. Holy crap! My intuition was right. You can write with charcoal. Damn. I'm actually doing a pretty good job. I'm proud of myself. Okay. Just write on the drawing, I guess? I'll just draw the map on the backside. Garen, you have to promise that the explorer won't send me home. All right, I promise. I'll stab him in the eyeball if I have to. Don't worry about it. Okay, can we go? Come on. I know where we have to go now. Whoa. This is beautiful. All hail the Twelve. Are you the fairy scholar? By Fabulon's crown and Farandel's fingerweb, a fairy in flesh and blood. Let me have a look at you, glistening maiden. What portal have you come through? Which world do you belong to? <clears throat> no, don't tell me. Tall and without wings, not a laddie fairy. Hmm. Hmm. And no creek or tree on you, so neither a nymph nor a dryad. Hmm. Hmm. I am Nuri. Nuri Dari Nelavanda. Can you help me so that I can use magic again, without any pain and loss? An inquisitive fairy. Wait. I have to focus my mind. I want to stay in this world and wander free like the raven and live through adventures with Geron. Can you help me? Only three times am I allowed to err. 
<clears throat> Master Fairy Scholar. Oh, another... Oh, a human. <laughs> My name is Geron. We've come to seek your counsel. You are the Fairy Scholar, right? Giacomo Nauta, Sage of the Spheres, Temporal Analyst, and Fairy Scholar. That hits the nail on the head, I should say. But just one moment, young man. Please do not touch those fairy crystals, Nuri Darren Elevander. Interference, you know. Where were we, my boy? Fairy crystals? Nuri can't use magic in this world. Don't touch under any circumstances. Did, did you just touch it? <laughs> Nuri, come on. Save yourselves! Seriously, this okay. Good job, Nuri. <laughs> um, where's the scholar? <laughs> Is the scholar dead? Nuri, come on. Follow directions, please. For once in your life. You'll have to travel on without a backpack, I'm afraid. <coughs> oh no! Oh, you're over there! Jesus, I didn't even see you. I did not even see him there. Okay. Good. He's alive. How could that happen? What's wrong? Do you have something in your throat? <coughs> what the hell can he talk? I mean, he didn't get hit, did he? How could that happen? <coughs> Do you have <coughs> okay. Would you like some water? Here, take a mouthful. Oh, Black Fortunes. The fairy artifact. Millennia. Gone in a blink of an eye. We have to save Nuri. She's been cut off from us. And she seems to be in shock. Am I surprised? She just had to touch the crystals. Your fairy has to find another way out. But the orcs are on that side, and they've surely been following us. Nuri mustn't fall into their hands. I can draw a safe passage back for her, but I'd need... The notebook from my backpack. Very well. The notebook it shall be. Okay, that I can do. And yeah, she looks... strange. What's happened to her? She's gone crazy. She's gone even more crazy. <laughs> yeah, she was kind of crazy to begin with, wasn't she? Nuri! Anrianvella mure nema testa lianati. Gerionero anrianvella. <laughs> what did she say? You're asking me? Well, yeah, I assume that's some sort of a fairy language or something. Don't you speak it? You're a fairy scholar. How am I supposed to reach that? Hmm. With your knife? Okay, that won't work. With a blanket? Okay, that won't work. Let's see what's around here. Arm of Knight's statue. Ooh. The arm of the fairy knight statue. Half a yardstick. That could come in handy right about now. Your stick is broken. <coughs> the other half is lodged beneath this statue. Hmm. Can I prop it up? I hope this wasn't a patron saint of the fairies. The stick fits perfectly into the hole left by the sword handle. If the stick wasn't broken, I could reach the backpack with it. I gotta fix the stick. To, well, will she even be able to fix stuff for me? I mean, look at the state she's in. What did those crystals do to Nuri? Are the items in there valuable? <coughs> 
I'm sorry. You have to know that I bring bad luck. It certainly seems like I do. <sighs> this time it wasn't my fault. That's true. Finally, I actually didn't do something wrong. I can't think of anything here. What? Use the stick to get out the stick. Makes perfect sense. This time it wasn't... Okay, can't shatter it. Not surprising. The stick fits... Mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Damn, this is high. We have to save new... I need to get it out. I need to get it out from under the rubble. I hope this wasn't. But I can't do that. He has lost his sword. Now his hand is only grabbing thin air. My notes. I need them to draw the directions for your ferry. Okay, what am I missing? How do I get the stick out from under the rubble? This time it wasn't my fault. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have both parts? Or do I? It looks like there's still a part left in the environment. I'm confused. Okay, let me try to amend it. Nuri, could you please? Well, <laughs> good. Thanks. Thank you. Atiale mune du leval. Is mantrairilli. Is lera mantrairilli. Yes, I agree. I'm confused. Is there not still a part under... I don't know what just happened, but anyway. The stick fits perf... Mm-hmm. Let me use that to get that. Onamulila, <laughs> Garen. Jesus Christ, sounds like the fairy scholar's about to die. What the hell happened to him? Like... I mean, I presume he just inhaled some dust, right? But then why aren't I coughing constantly like him? I'll leave it closed. I don't want to have to deal with those things. Here. This is for your fairy. The way out of the mountain. She must run to the mill that's marked here. That's where we'll meet again. Okay, now how do I get it to her? And also, what's the chances she's going to be able to follow the directions? Of course not. Mm, can I, like, I can't throw it across the chasm. Uh, what? Oh. oh okay, yeah, I can see that. Follow the directions to the mill. You can't miss it. The way should be safe. Come, my boy. It's time to leave. It looked like Nuri sobered up pretty quickly. So the seer wants to get hold of Nuri Darren Elevander. Is that enough? History has a way of repeating itself. What do you mean by that? Once before, the seer abused fairies by making them play the harp for him. Until they lost their magic and fell victim to the darkness. Nuri called them sad fairies. The seer sent them to follow our tracks. Possible. Quite possible. Tell me more about Satinav. 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 The Raven mentioned the name once. Can you tell me more about Satinav? You mean the steersman of the Barge of Time? The Irresistible? Satinav was a mighty demigod who descended to the underworld to conquer the Barge of Time. But the gods punished him for his sacrilege. Now he's chained to the helm of the Barge for all eternity and watches the stream of time. He and he alone can see the past and the future, but not even he can change either of them. Is that why we see the damage the ravages of Satanav cause everywhere? Yes. Yet the damage they cause is not the same in every world. Is there really no way to change the future? Future? Past? What do those words mean? Tomorrow becomes yesterday quite fast, doesn't it? The seer has seen the future. Mine too. Don't believe what every blind man claims to have seen. 
Why Nuri? There must be other fairies somewhere. A good question. What do you know about Nuri and her homeworld? Uh, practically nothing other than she doesn't want to go home. And she's lost her magic ability. At least, well, partially. I mean, obviously she still, she still has some of it since she can repair things. And it looks like she can also teleport as she did when she was attacked by the mob. Nuri never told me anything about her background. Perhaps she was scared. Of her home. Or her past. The magic of the fairies can turn whole worlds upside down. You mean Nuri's world might have changed since she's been here? Well, that's why she came here in the first place. Nuri can't use magic, or she'll either die or lose her soul. Hmm. Hmm, I see. We hoped you could help us. I'm afraid... I'd have to know more about the world she came from. Do you know where Nuri comes from? I was never able to explore the world behind the Stone Oak Forest portal before I sealed it. But I have a theory. Nuri's home world might be the fairyland Nairutvana. Nairutvana? A colorful place. A land of bliss. That doesn't sound too bad, does it? I wonder why she refuses to go back there. You fought alongside the king's heroes? <laughs> Hesinda forbid. I'd make a knight of miserable stature. <laughs> when the young king asked me for help, the seer had long been in captivity. But I sealed the fairy gate in the stone oak forest. So that was you? For all time, the hardest decision in my whole life. But other fairies might have reached Andergast to play the harp. How come you didn't find Nuri at the fairy gate back then? There were rumors in those times that the heroes had saved a fairy from the seer's clutches, but nobody felt it necessary to introduce her to me before they let her go. Hmm. Do you know more about the magic harp? It can only be played by the hands of a fairy. A human, even the seer, would perish in the attempt. That's because it was built by fairies. What for? It must harbor great power. Power that suits the seer well. Unfortunately, its whereabouts are unknown. We could examine it further otherwise. The Academy of Magicians never broke their silence about it to me. I can't blame them. But why is it in our world and not with the fairies? That's one thing that must be discovered. There must be records of Andergast in the Academy. I get the feeling I might be breaking back into the Academy again. It's sounding like they have some information I need. Did you know the Seer? No. But people told many stories about him. Rumors, you know? What rumors? That he had been born blind, yet touched by Satinav. Or cursed. He saw the future of others, but it was always death, mischief, and bad luck. Never any good or favorable things. Others claimed he was a warlock, driven by the desire to make his prophecies come true. The seer once prophesied misfortune for me, too. Is he trying to make that true also? I am sure he has other goals. His own goals. I don't know how long I'll be able to protect Nuri. The burden you are carrying doesn't belong on your shoulders alone, Geron. What do you mean? Considering what he plans to do to Nuri, I will do everything in my power to help you. My head is buzzing. If Nuri falls into the hands of the seer, she'll be doomed. He'll force her to unleash dark fairy magic on Undergas. But to what end? He is a seer. It has to be related to the future. After all the things he did in the past, we have to expect the worst. Your mentor only saw one way to prevent it all from happening. I cannot kill Nuri. Not even if our world would be saved from doom by doing it. Geron, I'll never allow even one hair on Nuri Daranella Vanda's head to be touched. I am prepared to do whatever it takes. So why don't we take her back to her world? That... that might be for the best, actually. But... she doesn't want to go. Nuri doesn't want to go back to her world. But that's the only way. No matter what she fears, you'll have to take her back there. Otherwise, she'll die. What about another fairy world? It doesn't have to be her homeworld, right? Are there any other fairy gates? Ones that aren't as far away? Those gates lead to different worlds in which Nuri would have to die. We cannot take that risk. I guess they can only live in their own world. 
But haven't you sealed the gate to Nuri's world forever? And it can never be reopened again. That's right, but there might be a second portal to Nrutmina. It is said to be located in the swamps of Lament, deep in the no-man's land of the Brinask Marshes. Well, that, that sounds... sounds lovely. A fairy gate in the swamp. Where exactly can I find this fairy gate? There's a colleague of mine staying in Enqui. Meander Goswin. He has in his possession the crystal of Nerutvina. It's a magic prism that points the way to the fairy gate. And it opens the gate as well. Or oh, so I hope. In the meantime, I'll go to Andergast to research the whereabouts of the magic harp in the academy there. And who knows? Perhaps we'll find a way of rendering the harp harmless. So it shall be. Here, take these notes for your voyage. You will find Goswin's address and all my knowledge concerning the fairy gate and the realm behind it. I'm ready. Enqui, Meander Goswin, fairy prisms, swamps of lament, and soon Nuri will be home. Wait, wait. They say a mighty, very dangerous creature guards the fairy gate. What kind of a creature, pray tell? Its eye is said to petrify all living beings, just like a basilisk. I was expecting as much. There's always a catch. Great, so I just have to travel to the swamps to find the fairy gate that's being guarded by some sort of a basilisk-like creature that can turn me to stone. Okay. <sighs> oh, Garon's life. Just another day in his life. How can I get past the Guardian of the Gate? No one has ever returned to give an answer to that question. <sighs> Cheer up. Your namesake, St. Geron, once fought against the Basilisk King. He was the mightiest hero of all time, and he possessed the Divine Sword Sevenstroke. There's a hero inside everyone. I hope you're right. Why don't you go to Enqui, and I'll research the harp in Andergast. The magicians weren't exactly my friends back then, but do you honestly believe they'd let someone like you into the academy? All right, forget it. Now our ways must part, Geron. Protect Nuri's life for all it's worth. Take her back home where she can be happy. You have my thanks for everything. Wish me luck. You'll find your way. We'll meet again in Andergast. God, look at, again, look at this art. It's so beautiful. Ooh, are those fireflies everywhere? I think they are. Boron's Wheel. Here lies... The name is not recognizable anymore. Whoever you may have been, may Boron have mercy on you. A Boron's Wheel? I hope that's not a bad omen. Let's go inside. I hope she's here. Hopefully she followed the directions correctly. Yuri, are you there? Oh shit. Oh. Well damn. It is not my day. Or week. Or life. Till the bird arrives, the raven shall deal with him. The raven? He will make him talk. I'll get him. You watch the mill. The raven belongs to the seer? As soon as the sand runs out, the night herd will talk. And his thread will break. Okay, I think I better save it. I knew I shouldn't have trusted that talking raven. Alright. 
a hole. There must be some kind of attic up there. Nuri! Keran, are you alright? Those creatures. I'm trapped. Hmm. There's a shard lying here. It's very sharp. Great. I'll throw it down to you. No, wait, I... Do you have it? No. You should have caught it. Nuri. Who knows where it is now? I can't see anything. That's because there are no rainbow crystals here. Can you come down to me? There is no staircase. And there's this pale man outside. <sighs> Didn't you say you can collect moonlight? I get sick if I use magic. I know. But if I can't free myself fast, I'll be dead. Hmm. But just very briefly, all right? I promise. There we go. Thank you. If you had caught my shard, you'd be able to cut the ropes now. Hmm. I know, I know. <coughs> I'm not strong enough to loosen them. I have to free my feet somehow. <coughs> No dice. Those are knotted tightly. Alright, alright. Scale. Oh, Nuri Shard. The shard has fallen onto the scale. Ooh, can I, uh, break it with my magic? That exceeds my abilities. Nope. One day my soul will be weighed, but that day is not today. Nope. It is not today. What is that pale figure doing out there? It's staring into the dark, as if it's missing something. Okay. Okay, okay. So, obviously I need this to come up so that I can get to my hand. So I need to either lighten the load here or put something into the other side. Can you fix the scales? There we go. Okay. That's a start. Can you drop something heavy into it? Come over here. I can see you. I can see you. Excellent. I guess you're not going to throw anything in. Okay. One day my son... But that... Hmm. But how do I change the weight balance? I'll never be able to reach it like that. Go to the hole in the middle. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. I see, I see. The cupboard leg looks quite rickety. Does it? Well, let's break it. <clears throat> mm, that doesn't work. Wait, is that my foot? Is that saying kick it with my foot? If my legs were free, I could destroy the cupboard. Oh, okay. There seems to be a basement underneath. This shows my time running out. Wonderful. I could use the saw right now. <clears throat> it's a stool. The oil lamp is directly above the stool. Can I break it? Imp! Imp? What, what do you mean, imp? At least I shattered something before I die. <laughs> There's one thing a man should be able to say before he dies. It's, I shattered something. More shards out of my reach. Yep, that is absolutely no good at all. Okay, move over here. There. There's a hole way back there. You said very briefly. The sawmill mechanisms are out of order. Oh, can you fix it? No. The sawmill mech... It's broken off. That's why the sawmill isn't working anymore. Okay, can you fix that? Yes. Do you see that drum-like thing down there? Can you fix that for me? Nuri! Garen, there's a beetle with eight legs here. Oh my god. It's just a spider. Spiders have twelve legs. Nuri, please, you have to focus now. Okay. There we go, okay. Ooh. You just move the saw, excellent. Just a matter of time until the creature notices the soaring. Yeah, all right, move back. Okay, okay, okay. Now the saw is much closer. Yes, but not close enough. Charge, strap door, hourglass, can I break the hourglass? No. Can't kick it because my feet are not free. Couldn't it just have landed at my feet? <laughs> no kidding. Now the saw is my- Yes. What can I do with this? I'll never- I 
need to do something here. I can't kick it because my feet aren't free. I can't free my feet because I can't get the shard. I can't get the shard because I can't change the weight in this thing. So... Seems to be in working order. That won't break so easily. Didn't think so. <laughs> it was worth a try. I can't use my ability to break the rope. I guess I could smash the glass, but the shards won't be any help back there. This way at least I know how much time I have left. I don't even think the hourglass is actually moving, is it? I'm pretty sure it's not. At least I shattered... Wait a minute, what is this? I can repair it? Can you fix it? Nuri! <coughs> oh, I'm using too much for ability, she's not doing well. Completely useless. Okay, now it's at my feet. Ha! Now all I have to do is free my hands. God, I hope I haven't made her too sick. Okay, kick this over. Ooh, 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 that's good, that's good, that's good. Now I just need it to fall. There we go. Now we can get the shard. Ha! Got it! Garen, I feel dizzy. Just a little while longer, Nuri. Okay. Now cut your way free, and I think we're good. That should be it. I'm free. Now we have to deal with the creature somehow. Okay. Let's pick up all this stuff. I just took the entire stool, okay. I, I now have an entire stool in my inventory. The handle is broken off. Hmm. Do I have a handle? N no. Wait, what is this? That might actually work. Oh, okay. Yeah, that actually would work. Anything over here? Oh, some straw. What am I going to do with straw? Oh, is that my stuff? Oh, it is my stuff. Okay, I got all my stuff back. That, wow, that is a lot of stuff. Okay, let's go. It's getting dark here. Just a little while longer, Nuri. What is down there? It's dark. Can you go and have a look for me? Not now. Wait, I can't go down? What is... It can... Not... Okay, do I need to take care of them outside first? As long as the fiend is standing guard out there. That'd be suicide. So... So, so, so what? What do I do? Blanket? Use the... Why, why use the blanket? It's still sagging on the other side. Oh, I'm making a trap for them to fall into. I gotcha. Okay. Prop it up. There. Now the beast can come. What if it can see in the dark? Hmm. I should camouflage the trap. Yep. All right. This has got to work. Nuri, now you can... <laughs> Shit. Nuri? Damn. Come find me! I think that was the Wilhelm scream. Or some other stock sound effect scream. I think no sound would have been better than that horrible stock sound effect for the scream. Really, oh god, I can't stand stock sound effects. It's a pet peeve of mine. Okay. Nuri! Oh, that is not a good place to be if she's if she's passed out. She could easily fall off. We have to go. What? 
Where am I? Garan? Come down, just come down. Climb down to me, will you? I'm so tired. Let me rest a little while longer. That's not possible. We have to go. Mm-hmm. We have to go. All right, all right, all right. I've talked to the fairy scholar. I know how we can fix everything. Really? Yes, yes, I know. We'll take you back to your world. No, never. I'll stay here. It's the only way. You'll be safe from the seer there, and you'll be able to use magic properly. Plus, Andergast will be safe too. Stop it, stop it, stop it! Nuri! Go away! If we stay here much longer, the creature will come back. Or the raven. <sighs> I don't have a choice. All right, telling her the truth my, was probably not the best idea. But I always go for telling the truth first. It's usually just better. All right, come on, we have to go. We cannot stay here. Garen, I don't want this anymore. It's not a matter of wanting. We have to get away from here or something terrible will happen. I can't. Just leave without me. I guess I have to lie. Shit. The... There's one other way. The scholar told me of a fairy gate up north at the end of the world. It leads to a magnificent realm far away from the seer. You'd be safe there. What's the name of that realm? Fanglari. Its name is Fanglari. And he told me where we can find the portal to get there too. Fanglari? Yes, but in order to get there, you have to come down at once. I can't. It's just a small jump. Look, I'll catch you. Build some stairs for me. Some stairs? How am I supposed to build some stairs? All right, I'll think of something. I'll be back in a minute. I have to actually build her some stairs. Shit. Well, I do have a saw. C can I can I just give her a stool? Is that not enough? I guess it's not. You can jump on the catwalk. It even supports my weight. No. Oh no, is he is he doing the thing where he disappears every time you examine something? You can it even supports my weight. No. <laughs> okay, it's time to save and load. Save and load. Wait. You there we go. Now now it works. Wait, I'll scatter some rose petals on the catwalk for you. You don't have to do that. <laughs> if the crossbeam hadn't broken, Nuri could climb down easily. Oh, she's not going to be able to use her ability for anything, is she? Right? No visible damage. I, I'm, I'm sorry. P please say that again. There's nothing missing here. I'm looking at a crack right here. No, I'm not going to mess with and it. And you just said no visible damage. Ah. <sighs> I have to get Nuri down from there, and fast. If I climb up there, the whole roof will collapse, which wouldn't actually be half bad. <laughs> Just saw it a bit. Look, a stair. Come on now. I don't know. I just want to sleep. Nuri! Tell me more about Fanglari. Is it beautiful there? Oh, that actually kind of worked, I guess. Oh, God, I have to lie to her. Uh, f free magic, and it won't hurt you. The most incredible thing is, every fairy can do magic in Fanglari, without any pain. One wouldn't get exhausted? It really sounds like a different realm. Everything's brimming with fairy magic in Fanglari. That's why you don't lose your strength, because you use the power already in the wind or the sea. You're one with the whole world. That sounds marvellous. I want that. And there's... Uh, freedom. Everyone's as free as a bird in Fanglari. Everybody can fly, even a human like me. We could soar through the skies together. You and I. There are even rainbow beavers. But only in summer. In autumn, they migrate south to a different realm. 
If you want to see them this season, we'll have to hurry. That sounds odd. <laughs> what else is there? Oh, God. She's going to hate me when she finds out the truth. Vanglari is a realm full of magic. The sky is as green as the fields in spring, and the stars sparkle even in daytime. I've never seen a green sky before. And if you don't come down here soon, you never will. What else is there? That's it. That, that's the end of the feature list for Fanglari. Come down. I'll show you the way to Fanglari then. I... I'll try, but I'll need a second stare. <sighs> All right, but then you'll come down for real, won't you? I promise. Okay, need another one. Like a stool? You're almost there. What about Master Raven? We have to wait for him. Yeah, about Master Raven. The Raven is dangerous. He's the Seer's spy. We have to get out of here before he returns. That's not true. Master Raven has always helped us. Trust me, would I ever lie to you? It's just that you never liked him. You have to come with me, now. Geron's words gave Nuri new strength. She wanted to know everything the fairy scholar had told him about the hidden realm. Where was it? Was it beyond the mountains? Was it beyond the swamplands? Why was it so secret? She imagined a land without time, without memories, and without future. A boundless land without a horizon. Geron's lie took shape, and in Nuri's head, the enchanted realm of Fanglari became real. Meanwhile, the river took the small vessel northward towards the smuggler's town towards the stinking swamps of the Brynask marshes. Even Nuri didn't like it here. She had accepted that she had to leave Geron's world as long as the seer was trying to find her here. This made her sad again. But perhaps she could take Geron with her. Why not? Because it's impossible, Nuri. I have to go back to Andergast. Goswin? Meander Goswin? What is so important in Andergast? It is my home. Please open up. I'm sure this is the house Norta described to us. Perhaps there's no one home. There has to be someone. We need that prism thing. The fairy scholar said it's the key to Fanglari. Are you looking for Meander Goswin? In that case, you're wasting your time. How do you mean, sir? Don't be so formal. Nobody here gives a hoot about that formality crap. They dragged Goswin from the Svelte, dead, about a year ago. Well, crap. Ah, what happened to him? Who did that to Goswin? He himself did, of course. Like so many other townspeople. And what's really behind that? No. Oh, it's easy to make the most diverse of enemies in Enqui. Smugglers, whale hunters, Thawalians. You can ask over there at the bathhouse if you want to know more. If you're lucky, the bathwoman will spill the beans for free. Uh, okay. And who are you? Who are you, anyway? My name is Jar. I am Geron. And this is Nuri. And this is the first time in Inqui for both of you. How? How do I know that? I'm a good listener. I am the ear of the alleys, and their whispering conscience. Impressive. I can provide you with one or two other items, too. Can you? Goswin was in possession of a prism. Do you know anything about it? A prism? Without me hearing the tingle of coins in my pocket, all I can tell you is that he had one. What do you know about it? 
Well, not much, really. You're cautious, eh? And damned right you should be. See you later. Watch your back. Achievement unlocked. Ahoy! <laughs> Apparently they give you achievements just for progressing in the game, which is weird. That's not really an achievement. It's like... Oh, excuse me, I'm having a stretch here. It's like, congratulations, you got 25% through the game. Good job. Here's a pat on the back. Those kind of achievements, they don't they don't really piss me off or anything, they just They're just so stupid and silly. I don't even really care. They just kinda of make me laugh because of how inane they are. I mean if you're gonna make achievements, make them make them mean something, you know? Anyway. God, this town is beautiful. Well, I mean... Uh, maybe not a beautiful town, but... I mean, the artwork is beautiful. Ah. I just want to stare at every scene. And just look at everything. But, for now, I've been playing for about four hours. So, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Because I can feel my voice starting to go. Alright, well... I think the story is leading towards heartbreak. She thinks we're going to the wonderful, magical land of Fanglari, but we are not. We're going exactly where she does not want to go. Home. And I still don't know why. Why does she not want to go home? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Okay, well. I guess we will probably discover that in the next episode. Or at least, in the next, I don't know. Future episodes. I think we're pretty close to the end. I'm pretty sure we're pretty close to the end. It's supposed to be a pretty short game, from what I've heard. I think maybe in the realm between, like, six and eight hours. So, if I'm, if I'm about five hours in, there's probably no more than a couple hours left. So, we should be pretty close. And it's just, the story just feels like it's pretty close to the end, to me personally. Alright, well, I hope you have enjoyed so far. I certainly am, despite this game's problems, I'm still enjoying it quite a bit. So, I will be back soon.